Hello and welcome to Low Budget Gaming and welcome to this quick video on how to get the Xbox Game Pass on PC, the app. So if you saw E3, the Xbox conference, they mentioned that they are bringing the Xbox Game Pass to PC with over 100 games. And they already had something but it wasn't sort of well thought out and there were not many games available. So I've downloaded the app and installed it and it's quite straightforward. You will need to update your windows because uh, I had to do that. My windows wasn't updated the latest version and then all you need to do is just follow this link i'll put the link in the description or you can just google it uh, just type xbox game pass for pc and then you'll get to this page so just click here game pass for pc download the app it's a small installer just download it install it and yeah as far as pricing is concerned it is currently on offer the beta for only one dollar a month or 50 rupees once you download it, I'll show you what it looks like. So once you download this, it launches like this. So if you can see here, it's got Forza Horizon 4. This is, uh, I've already installed this. This was already installed. I had the game pass. So it is available here. Now, the confusing thing is, um, they haven't really updated everything. I have the Xbox Game Pass and there's still a month to go on it because they had this offer for $3, one, $1 for three months. And I had I took that offer and it's still valid until sort of early July so it's still asking me to buy for example if we see here it says join now it should say that I'm already there so it says PC games one month so fifty dollars uh, uh, fifty rupees sorry so yeah I hope they update that because I already have it currently they have already added quite a lot of games including some games that I wanted to play so if you look in the all games section this this line here these were games that were already there even on PC so Sea of Thieves, for, uh, Forza Horizon 4, Gears of War 4, State of Decay, Recore etc. Uh, we have Arc Survival Evolved, Gears of War, Astroneer and I'll point out the games that are interesting and not very cheap or something. We have Rise of the Tomb Raider, Wolfenstein 2 so I wanted to try this and I can try it because these are not that cheap uh, regional pricing isn't great on these Imperator Rome this I think only came out in April or March or something a very new game from Paradox a strategy game then we have Hellblade and a sacrifice this is here uh, surviving Mars super hot again something I wanted to play but it's a short game and it's not uh, at a good price during sales then the surge is here and Metro Exodus that's the big one so if you thought this was only exclusive to the Epic Game Store until next year and you did not want to get it on the Epic Game Store, just spend 50 rupees a dollar and then play this. Even better for you, saved a lot of money, I guess. And what else to be? Abzu, for example, this is a game that I don't really care for owning, but I really want to try it. So I can play it here if it's really great or something, I'll pick it up when it's on sale. Because it doesn't go on a good sale on Steam, it's still quite expensive. It hasn't dropped more than 50%. Then we have Vampire, Vampire, I don't know. This is a game published by Focus Home Interactive and they don't really do great regional pricing as well. So this is another game that is quite expensive. <coughs> uh, what else do we Happy Fuse here. Uh, Ruiner was already there. Uh, Titan Quest. Operencia, so this is a new game again exclusive to the Epic Game Store but it's also here now. Wasteland 2 is here. Turing test, Orwell. So yeah, even right now they have quite a lot of games. A lot of them are smaller games. So I think at the moment something like this is going to give a very stiff competition to things like um, Humble Monthly in fact. Now of course with the Humble Monthly you actually own the games and you get good 7-8 games but they'll have to up their game now. Because if you take this month, um, Hellblade is here, Moonlight is here, the two early analogs are already here. So why would you want to buy, I mean if you do want to own the games, you'll still get the Humble Monthly, but you can just spend 50, play the games. Uh, this is a story driven game, so chances are you'll play it once and you won't really play it again many times unless you're a big fan. So yeah, so if you're sensible with how you play your games and if you don't really want to own everything on Steam, this is actually a good option to play new games when they are added. Look at the better ex Exodus situation. You can't buy it on Steam. If people don't like the Epic Game Store, just spend a dollar, play this. 
and you're set and when it's on sale uh, on steam sometime in the future uh, pick it up for really cheap uh, gears of war is here gears of war 4 is here now when they add the newer games that they mentioned yesterday gears of war 5 a few others i will i want to play pray for example that's another game that i mentioned during the stream that is quite expensive and i haven't been able to play because again no regional pricing on it that is something that's worth saving so yeah a uh, good move really consumer friendly they are adding some more competition to all this uh, monthly subscriptions and things like that so really good i'll quickly go over the pricing uh, on the website so here we are so these are the options you have for the game pass and how to join we have three plans we have the pc plan which is 4.99 a month currently for only one dollar a month and this is in beta currently so i think that's why they have the one dollar i don't know how long this one dollar offer is but as you saw there's already a lot of games there and i'm sure there are bound to be two or three games that you really want to play but are too expensive so just pick up this if you have windows 10 download it play those games on console it is uh, 9.99 a month and they have the ultimate value plan which is basically everything so pc console and the xbox gold membership as well so all of this included and you play you pay 14.99 so a com combination of this but you also get gold so if you have an xbox you play on xbox and you also have a pc then yeah this would be great for us five dollars a month this is about 3.29 in india it's actually a good price and as as i said it might give a good uh, competition to things like the humble monthly because the games haven't been great on Humble Monthly recently, especially the last two months. We don't really want to own every game, but we do want to play games on release as soon as they come out. Three twenty nine and new games they cost three thirty nine nineteen and four thousand. So something like Gears of War five, if it launches, it will be five thousand rupees, four thousand, five thousand, depending on the version. And I could pay three hundred, play the game, and it's not a game that I'm going to come back and play over and over. Even if I want to, if I want to play the multiplayer or something. I can still do that for a few months and it'll still be like a full year would be about the same as buying the damn thing so and you can get all the other games so it is a really good option here I'm quite happy we have these options so for people who want to own the game you have Steam and other platforms you can buy it here as well and you get a discount as well if you are uh, uh, on the Xbox Game Pass and people who are just interested in playing the latest games without having to worry about owning them or spending too much money yeah this is an even better option so yeah i just wanted to share my thoughts and tell you how to get this quite straightforward and yeah try it out really good i'm happy thank you for watching see you next time